How's it going everyone? Vandal Designs here, and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to make a player's visor transparent. So this episode is going to be pretty short because it's a super simple thing to do. It's, uh, it's super easy, super simple, but it's also very, very important. It really just uh, sells a composition. It sells that the player is in that in that setting, in that background, really. And I see a lot of people and a lot of uh, even like professional teams don't they, they don't do this, uh, and that's pretty uh, pretty crazy because it's so easy to do and it's you know just it's it's so important. So uh, we're just gonna hop right back in with Barzell where we left off with this cutout of Barzell and as you can see his visor uh, you know goes off his body and uh, is on top of the background and yet you can't see the background uh, so what we want to do is we want to make this transparent so to do so uh, super simple what you're going to want to do is take any sort of selection tool whether or any sort of manual selection tool you don't want to go with something that's automatic like the quick select tool or the uh, well, that's pretty much the only the the only automatic one. So you want to go with either like the pen tool or the uh, polygonal lasso tool or just the regular lasso tool, whatever you prefer. I will go with the polygonal lasso tool and just start selecting the visor, just like this. So just select around the player or select around the uh, the player's like edge of his face. Uh, there's this eyelash right there, which I'll yeah, that's good. Um, all right, so now that you've got that, real simple, you're going to click right here. This is a black and white adjustment layer. Click on that, and then click on this button right here. You gotta make sure that it's on top of the player, and boom, it's going to clip it to the player. Now your visor is black and white. Now this final step really to this is to make it transparent. So uh, you're going to want to select, make that selection once again. So to do that, hit command or control if you're on PC and click right here on the thumbnail of the black and white layer. And boom, you now have that as a selection. So go to Barzell and then alt click or option click for Mac on the uh, little uh, mask icon down here. And boom, it's going to be masked out. Now this obviously is not the final product. Now he doesn't have a visor at all. So uh, now the uh, next thing you want to do really is go from completely, completely hidden to only half hidden. You know, you want to make it half transparent. So you're to do this, you're going to basically use the mechanics of the mask. So if you if you alt click on the mask right here, it's going to show you what the mask look, looks like. So you've got all this white and you've got this black right here. White is everything that is visible and black is everything that's invisible. So as you can see, if you toggle it back with alt once again, as you can see, the this part right here that we selected is invisible, white is all visible. So to do so, to uh, basically make this uh, half invisible, uh, the logical thing is to make it whiter, aka make it gray. So to do this, simply click Command L, making sure that you are on the on the uh, on the mask, right? And this is going to bring up the levels. So this right here, all these sliders, I'm just going to go over them real quickly. Dragging this towards the right makes the darks darker. Dragging this towards the uh, left makes the whites whiter. This is the midtones. Dragging this towards here is going to make the midtones brighter. Towards here will make them darker. And right here, this makes the whites darker. So as you can see, the white is going to start becoming darker and Barzell is going to become more transparent. And alternative, alternatively, the one we're going to be using right here, this makes the black, aka this part of the visor right here, it makes it whiter. So now the visor is actually coming into focus, or not into focus, but into, you know, just visibility. So let's put this at around 120. That's where I usually do it anywhere between 100 and 150, depending on the picture. So let's do 120 right here and click on OK. Uh, if I turn off the mask with shift and click here, you can see the before and after. As you can see here, there's no 
no you know no no trace of the background and here once you toggle back on you can actually see what's behind them you can you know draw stuff or whatever if, if, if you need proof as you can see boom just like that so that is that is that's that you know it's as simple as that that's how you make a player's uh, uh, visor transparent it's really all about just masking masking it in a way that uh, that uh, you know has like a gray mask so that it's only half transparent so that is all super important thing to know uh, it really makes your designs takes it it's that a little detail that takes them to the next level uh, and it's it just happens to be one of the easiest things to do ever so uh, I hope this was helpful if you've got any questions don't hesitate to leave them down below I'll try to answer them as best as I can and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time